One of the one of the big things that our New Zealand Elite have achieved this year is the capacity. Understanding how to get momentum in their business um, through having having help. One of the, the things that we've noticed more than ever before is the vendor's choice of agent. It, it's now so much more about the agent than about the individual. I think something for me that I've been focusing on is building capacity around myself. Um, really recognised over the last six to twelve months that there's only so many hours in the week and I need to focus on the things that are going to bring the right returns and the things that need my energy to focus on. Tell us something that's working for you this year. <laughs> okay, I think the biggest thing that's been working for us this year is just feeding off the Ray White network and what agents um, I guess worldwide are doing in terms of Video, um, probably video has been the big draw card. My desktop as well. Um, we traditionally haven't utilised it anywhere near, uh, sort of, I guess, to anywhere near its potential. Um, so we've got a lot of growth there, which has been great. So, Aaron, tell us something that's worked for you this year. Going back to basic real estate, door knocking, talking to people, just doing what we all say we're going to do but never do. That's basically all I've done, and that's why I'm here today. So I'm talking with Sue Hatton from Ponsonby office. So Sue, tell us something that's worked for you this year. Um. Um, thanks Julie. Well I'm fairly new to the Ray Wyatt group so um, it's a pleasure to be here for number one. And um, look, one of the things that's really changed my business this year is um, actually speaking with you. And next year, anything particular that you're planning to implement in your business that's high on the agenda yet? More of the same really. I suppose in a, I think we've sort of analysed in a, I don't know, what it, how many hours a week we work, 60 hours a week, maybe more. Um, I probably need to be spending 40 hours on the phone and talking to people and it's so easy to be spending half of the time doing that and time spent doing um, tasks and non-face-to-face -face contact that isn't um, where I need to be putting my energy and, and talent. So more of that focus. Which is What's working for you? Uh, look Julie, I was originally focusing on getting bigger and uh, hired a staff member to help me get bigger and better and but now I've decided that it's more about being more boutique -y. and I'm not sure if that's the right word but just fo focusing on good service. Tell me next year, is it more of the same or is there anything new you're planning to? Well we've already started, we've got all the prospecting ready to go right up to April so we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah we're going to go back to doing what we know works. Um, we're going to try and become paperless, we think that's, that's the future, but notwithstanding talking to people. A lot of people hide behind text and emails and phone, we want to get in front of people and say, hey, here we are, sell with us. Yeah, I try to sort it out of the database, you know, the over 10,000 of database that take times. So Mari, clearly this has been, those people who know you, you've had an extraordinarily difficult um, year with lots and lots of sadness. and. Tell us about your year and how you've managed to keep going. Well, just, I guess, as you say, life sends curveballs. One of the things about real estate, I guess, it gives you inner strength. The strength to not show what's going on inside you when you're trying to do deals or to keep deals together. What I'd like to do is to be more precise with the people that we deal with so that we can filter out the people who are not necessarily in the mood to buy now uh, put those aside, put them into a special category so we can keep in contact with them, but deal with the people who are really motivated to do something right now.